Hey guys, welcome back. Bodie 101 here, and we're back in the world of Infinity, picking up shortly after we left off. Um, so I've done a little bit of work, as you can see, kind of organized some of the, the stuff I had in my inventory that I didn't need. Um, I put up a bunch more barrels so that we can kind of organize things. We still have, you know, so, oh, okay. Still have like a food chest and the bees and stuff that really didn't need its own place. Um, and you can see kind of reorganize some stuff over here and over here and things are looking pretty good. Pretty good. Plus, I did make some jelly cryothium. I did make a snowman and he died. I forgot I'm not in the area, but I found out if we put a block of jelly cryothium in the ground, it just makes snow, snow around it. So that's super easy. And, you know, basically I think if you, you pick it up, then, uh, not too long afterwards... Snow will grow back. So that's that's pretty cool. So okay. Um let's put these away. Where did I have snowballs? I'm still trying to remember where I put everything. So and so also I got our um <coughs> got this bad boy up and running. As you can see, I'm actually gonna shut it off right now because we got quite an abundance of power in here. So we have that. So we got ourselves what is this? Uh a uh, million or 10 million pretty much at full and this bad boy at 25 million is completely full i did make some new um enhanced energy conduits which is like the next level up to run power this guy actually haven't been needing to run at all because this is going to take care of our power needs and i also kind of started working on this up here so just kind of clean it up. You can see we have our ender chest here and we got our stuff still coming in. I did set up another quarry because for some reason I'm just addicted to quarries now. And it's basically on the other side of that mountain. And you can, we'll actually watch it head over there real quick. Let's do that and go to quarry. And as you can see, it's a pretty big one. It's out behind the mountain. Our base is right on the other side of that mountain. Um, and yeah. It's just cooking along. Pretty much, I'm just dis absolutely just destroying the landscape around here. And you know what? I'm kind of okay with that. So, <clears throat> but there is uh, some other things I wanted to kind of work on. Um, one thing. Oh, and here's my little pumpkin patch from getting trying to make a snowman that didn't work. See, look, our snowballs are already back. All right, that's cool. And I did play around in here some more. I think we'll probably go back. I got one of those while I was in there. We'll probably go back and do another one of those at some point. I don't know why I'm, I'm getting so... Why things are so jittery. I apologize for that, guys. I have no idea why things are... I don't have that. I mean, that quarry's going on, and I know that chunk's loaded, but we're still making gold. Okay, so let's figure out what we want to work on now. And I think... I actually want to get into a little bit, and it's a it's a mod that I, I really like. Um, it's got a lot of really cool stuff in it. Uh, you know what? Actually, no. You know what? No, 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 no. We're not. We're not. That's not what we're doing. What we're going to work on, we're going to grab this bad boy. And do I have a hammer on me still? I do not. Let's go ahead and get a hammer, one of our hammers. Okay. And let's pop in here. So let's look at tools and machinery. Okay. So let's look, uh, a crusher is, uh, see, I don't know if I want the crusher because the sag mill gives us some secondary stuff. But at the same time, we have so many, uh, basic ingots. Look at that. We're almost at pretty much, we're pretty much a f 64 stacks of iron at this point. So, um, but we got an excavator. This is something that's going to take quite a bit of blocks to make. All right, um, and that because as you can see, we need twenty-one blocks of steel, nine light engineering blocks, thirteen heavy engineering blocks, and twenty-three steel scaffolding. So we're gonna need a lot of steel, and I think we have—is this the right one? Yeah, we have. Uh, we got eight stacks plus this. Oh, I don't have any cooking. What the deuce? All right, that's on me. That's on me. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get a stack of this going in here. Put that in there, and we'll grab this and put this in here and get that slowly cooking. All right, so 
what I think I want to make, and I'm kind of all over the place here, guys. Um, I've never made one of these excavators, but first we're going to need, I think it's the, no, not the mining drill. That might actually be cool to make, though. Uh, item router, so heater, conveyor belts, arc furnace. I've never even seen this. What does this do? The furnace excels at smelting ores and creating steel due to its high speed and its ability to process multiple items at the same time. But it is also complex in its workings and require maintenance in order to continue functioning. Slag must be removed from the machine or it will cease to function. Um, the And degrading electrodes need to be replaced over time. To form the structure, assemble it as shown in the first page. Then click. I've never made one of these. Uh, interface. Interface may look confusing upon first seeing it, but it's quite straightforward. The three slots at the top are for graphite electrodes. Electrodes can be inserted into the furnace through the top center block of the structure. The 12 slots on the left are input slots for material ores and ores. Each slot has a temperature bar next to it, representing the progress of smelting. The four slots on the right are the additives. Different materials added to the molten metal during the crafting process. Uh, an example of these would be adding coke dust to melting iron in order to create steel. Okay. Inputs and additives are inserted through the two hatches at the top of the structure and the left one. I love multi-blocks. The seven slots at the bottom um, are six output slots and a slot for slag. Outputs are um, retrieved from the bucket at the front of the structure. Slag through the port. Okay, I want to make this. I've never made this. I don't know anything about it. So let's see. We're going to need a cauldron, 14 steel slabs, 25 steel blocks and this thing looks big uh or this isn't going to be able to be inside nine steel scaffolding should we try and make this guys i think we should all right let's see let's see how much steel we can actually get away with so let's bring up our um crap i forgot the name of the mod it is immersive engineering okay there we go shh, shh, shh. Come on. There we go. All right. So I got to remember, light engineering blocks are pretty much iron and copper, which we're good on. These are going to be steel. Looks like almost any of the steels, which is good. Some steel. So let's go ahead and start making some of these components. This might actually be pretty cool. I'm kind of excited for this. All right. So first off, let's make nine heavy engineering blocks. And I think we have one already from before that's a no that's part of the fan those are those could have swore we had extras they were like left over from the other crafting process huh all right maybe not it would be right here if i did okay all right so let's see what is this this is dark steel this is steel ingots this is also stealing it so let's start with this let's actually lock this in and then just take the whole thing all right so uh let's get these out of here so i make some of those right these are from railcraft you know what i'm curious on if i take these right oh these are different why did that do that Okay. And these are from... Okay. Cool. I don't know why I did that, but whatever. Alright, so... I guess the steel... Yeah, I guess it just converts it into the Railcraft ones. Whatever. Not going to complain about that. Alright, so what, what do we need first? Sorry, I'm all over the place here. Uh, we needed uh, 14 steel slabs, which I'm just assuming... We do this? Yeah. Okay, so there's 12. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be using a lot of steel on this. All right, let's uh, grab a couple more of those. 
All right, so I need two more steel. Ah, see, this is the only part I hate is that it's going to make me, like, overuse stuff. All right, so there's that. Okay. And we'll do 14. We can put the rest of these. And yeah, we'll stick them here for now. All right. So we got our 14 steel slabs. All right. Let's see what uh, what is next in the process. We do need a cauldron. Let's just make that real quick since we're here. Let's grab a couple stacks of iron while we're here. All right. So we'll go ahead and... I only grabbed five. I, I just got done recording Mod Life where I use... Um, compact or I use drawers and yeah those act a little bit different so there's that okay I kinda, I'm really excited to build this uh, 25 blocks of steel oh man I don't know if we're gonna have enough let's 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 find out let's see what we can do here 25 blocks of steel can I convert these back I can perfect all right well we should be good I'm, I'm hoping. All right, so... Oh, I needed those 14. <sighs> okay, so these four are what I meant to do. One, two, three. Give me those. One, two, three. That's 14. Now we'll take these eight and convert them back. There we go. All right, I'm still nervous that we're not going to have enough. All right, so that gives us that. What was it? How many? 25? 24? 25. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Two, three, and four. Okay, so there's those. So that's that stuff there. Now our steel is all wonky. All right. Okay, so what's next on the hit parade here? We need ourselves, we got the cauldron, we got the steel slabs, we got that. We need 13 light engineering blocks, which uh, copper and, yeah, we're just going to need, a, let's just grab ourselves a stack or two of copper. And let's go ahead and we're going to need, how many was, God, I'm so, my memory is so bad. I'm excited. 13, so we actually got to make 14 here. So we're going to need 14 of these. Okay. So we're going to definitely have to grab more iron. All right, let's grab another stack of iron since we're right here. Boom. Okay. And let's go ahead and make these. What am I out of? Oh, no. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, cool. Okay. So I'm surprised when I do things first try. It kind of frightened me. Nine heavy engineering blocks. So we are going to need some electrum. We're going to need some pistons. And we're going to need, what, ten of these? Right? So let's make those first. Ten. Okay. Okay. All right, there's that, 10 of those. And then we're gonna need some pistons, which I know I have some made. Ah, I'm just gonna make some more. Let's just grab the stuff to make some more. Make a bunch of them. I'm all turned around because I don't know where everything's at. Uh, 15, let's grab a stack of that. Just one stack, please. And we'll convert this over to the wood. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves some cobblestone. And then we're going to need some redstone. Okay. And, you know, let's grab a couple more things of iron. Shut up, skeleton. <clears throat> All right. So, really? 16? What did I run out of? All right. Uh, cobble. Let's grab some more cobble. Cobble's not a big deal, right? Got plenty of cobble. All right. Let's do this again. And boom, and boom, and boom. Yeah, that should be more than enough. And then we're going to need some Electrum, which I should have. It's aluminum brass. That's ferrous. That's Electrum. That's way too many stacks. Subscribe one. Okay. All right. So we're going we're gonna to be making 10 of these total. Oh, perfect. So perfect. So perfect. Okay. And lastly, I think the last thing we needed was nine steel scaffolding which is basically just made with steel and steel fences okay 
I think I actually have some already here, so let's lock that in. And let's see how many of these we can make thus far. Nope, not what I wanted. Uh, we needed nine of these, so we got to make it eh, two sets. Oh, yeah, we're good. All right, let's go see if we can put this stupid thing together. Let's do that real quick. That This should be interesting. Let's put away some of this stuff real quick just to kind of get it out of our inventories. Now, uh, this thing looks like... Let's look in the book real quick and see. Did it clean things up pretty well? It did. Let's go put this wood away. And let's go put these pistons away. And now we got plenty of pistons for later. And we got some wooden slabs we can throw in here. And we got some redstone. Okay. <clears throat> so let me just check this out. So let's look at this one more time. It looks like it's going to be one, two, th one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three. So it's a five by five. And it looks like it's going to be four high. So can we fit this in here? So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah, you know, we can actually... It looked a lot bigger on the thing. So let's take this. So this is where I was going to trap my snowman. And that didn't work out too well. So. All right. So an arc furnace. This should be pretty cool. But, unfortunately, kids... We're going to have to get into this next episode because, unfortunately, we were at here. So we were basically pre-arcing, right? Is this thing empty already? Yeah, let's turn it back on. Um, we were pre-arcing. So next episode, we're going to make the arc furnace. We might make some more stuff from Immersive Engineering because you guys already know how much I love the uh, multi-block thing. So... And we're going to set it right here. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this should be good. And then one, two, three, four, five. Then it's four high. Perfect. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comments section. And uh, until the next episode of Infinity, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.